this was not the first time that one of these probes carrying a map of how to find planet Earth mysteriously ceased operating. Pioneer 11, also known as Pioneer G, as in the letter G found in the international symbol for Freemasonry, a very apt name considering that many NASA astronauts and technicians are Freemasons, was launched by NASA on April the 6th, 1973 to study Jupiter, Saturn, and is now out in interstellar deep space. While Pioneer 11 is believed to still operate properly, NASA say that communication with Pioneer 11 has been lost since November the 30th, 1995. This means that no communication has been received from Pioneer 11 for 15 years, and no communication received from Pioneer 10 for the last seven years just at the point when these probes were leaving the heliosphere bubble which surrounds our Sun and solar system. Almost as if some external, possibly alien force, has terminated mankind's ability to penetrate deep space beyond the natural boundary of our solar system. Pioneer 10 was fitted with a star sensor that could recognize the star Canopus and therefore could always orientate the aerial back to Earth. Perhaps NASA are lying and the Pioneer data is being reserved for the scientific corporate elite at NASA. Or perhaps the Pioneer probes were hit by a meteorite. Another possibility is that sometime around 1995 and 2003, an alien intelligence discovered the Pioneer probes and found the gold-plated maps and used these maps to find our beautiful little blue planet. Hello from the children of planet Earth. Paz e felicidade a todos. Audi Diana. Sab logo ne maro Ram Ram pahunche. Hame athe raji khushi ha. Tuma uthe raji khushi reh jao. The other two deep space probes carrying gold plated video discs are called Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. They are still, apparently, sailing into deep space. Voyager 1 is headed for a distant star called AC793888. And Voyager 2 will eventually reach the Sirius star system. Now Sirius is most commonly associated with the godhead of Luciferians and is the star system which ancient legends of the Dogon tribe in Mali, in Africa, tell us live very, very intelligent amphibians called the Nomos. Ancient legends in Babylon and Africa tell us that alien amphibians from Sirius visited planet Earth long, long ago. These aliens were greeted as star gods from the heavens. They were very intellectually advanced, and even then had knowledge about genetic engineering. Right now, Voyager 1 is 10 billion miles away. So great a distance that its radio signals, which travel at almost the speed of light, take more than 14 hours to reach planet Earth. From Voyager's viewpoint, the Sun is now just another star, south of Rigel in the constellation of Orion. And 
the sun's planets have faded into invisibility. It will take 40,000 years traveling at 38,000 miles per hour before Voyager 1 drifts within 1.7 light years of the unnamed star AC 793888. It will take 358,000 years for Voyager 2 to approach Sirius. The golden discs aboard Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 contain many photographs and diagrams. The first images are of scientific interest, showing mathematical and physical quantities, our solar system and its planets. There are diagrams of the DNA molecule and human anatomy, and showing aliens, how humans reproduce and give birth to babies. The drawings and diagrams contain two circles in the lower right hand corner, which represent the hydrogen atom in its two lowest states, with a connecting line and the digit number one to indicate that the time interval associated with the transition from one state to the other is to be used as the fundamental time scale to decode the pictures on these video discs. The golden records aboard the Voyager spacecraft are constructed of gold-plated copper and encased in aluminium. It will be very, very obvious to these aliens that our planet, planet Earth, is rich in natural resources. Certainly, it's clear, you don't need to be a former Nazi rocket scientist to work out that some of the diagrams, some of the images on those Voyager golden discs have ended up being used as motifs and part of crop circle designs. Since the time that the Pioneer and Voyager probes were sent into space, and especially since the time that all communication was mysteriously lost with two of these probes, there has been a dramatic increase in the number of UFOs seen in the Earth's atmosphere, with UFOs flying out of tunnel-like wormholes vast numbers of UFOs being released from flexible, serpent-like membranes above the world's most famous capital cities. And yes, even military personnel claiming that they have seen alien bodies recovered from crashed flying saucers. More alarmingly than all of this, Ordinary people all over planet Earth claim that they have been abducted and that genetic tissue was harvested from their bodies by aliens. Some of these people even claim that they have been taken to breeding facilities where government agencies work alongside aliens, breeding a new race of part human and part alien beings. <laughs> 